What is going on, everybody? Drew Nelson, a.k.a. HR Falcons 22, back here again doing another dip review for you guys. And this time, I'm going to be reviewing Timberwolf Peach. Uh, this was a request from somebody in one of my comments, and I finally saw it today, and I was just like, yep, I'll take that, Timberwolf Peach. And I totally realized that one of my biggest pet peeves is when you're at the gas station, and maybe there's like a new attendant who's working at the gas station or something, right? And they don't know, they're not familiar with the with the spatial layout of the of the cans, and you are, so you like know immediately where Copenhagen is, and you know immediately where Grizz is, but they just fucking stand there and like look around and shit, and they can't fucking find it, and you're like, it, it's it's literally the only can that says wolf on it, and they're like, oh, I don't, I don't see it. So I realized that that was totally, like, my biggest pet peeve today. Um, also, one of my biggest pet peeves, finals week, holy shit, fuck my life. Fuck everybody's life. Everybody hates their life during finals week. Like, if you told me, like, oh, yeah, I'm having a great week during finals week, I'd probably just have to punch you square in the head. Like, Nobody has a good week during finals week, me included. Um, although I did just torch my Arabic exam, um, but I absolutely shit the bed on my accounting exam. Uh, so, I don't know, we'll have to live with that, I guess. I don't know, I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, dude, if, because one of my friends like failed one of his exams or something, and I was like, dude, here's the deal. If you fail a class, like any class, it doesn't have to be a college class, but like, if you fail a class, it doesn't mean that you're stupid. It just means that you're not good at accounting or, you know, whatever the class was in. So, like, don't sweat it. It's just small stuff, you know. Five years from now, nobody's going to give a shit about what you got on a final exam. So keep that in mind if you're taking finals right now. I got your back. Um, so let's go ahead and take a fatty of Timberwolf Peach. Um, as you can see, the can is like like most like most lower end tobaccos. I would say the can is pretty much like fully packed. Uh, and thanks to um, oh fuck, I don't remember his name, um, but he commented on one of my videos. Uh, gas gas station coffee is fucking delicious. I love it. It's so much better than Starbucks, and it's like a hundred dollars less. Like who fucking knows? I don't know. Bean Street. Where is Bean Street? I want to get on Bean Street right fucking now. Um, oh, but anyways, um, so somebody on one of my videos was like, yeah, Copenhagen doesn't have full cans. It always looks like there's a dip taken out of Coke cans um, because that's like their emphasis that they don't use any filler tobaccos. Um, but as you can see here, this is a very much a full can. Um, so this is probably comprised of not 100% American tobacco. I don't know. I don't even know what Timberwolf could possibly have in it, but mm, the peach smell is actually not bad at all. It's very similar to um, Skull Peach. I can tell just by looking at it, though, that like if you look at that texture compared to Skull Peach, um, this is going to be a little bit rougher. Um, Skull Peach is like pretty soft. It's pretty nice, actually. I like Skull Peach, um, but even though, even though this is like aromatically similar, it's in an olfactory sense, it's the same. It's the same exact thing as like a skull peach or something. Mm. It smells a little bit more pungent. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. And obviously, I I didn't have to pack this can at all because it is Timberwolf. And I had probably one of the most horrible experiences ever with um, Timberwolf Straight. So I'm kind of hoping that this one goes a little bit better. So I hope you all are ready to take a dip with me. Three, two, one. Mm. Okay. And we're off. Um, lid. Wow. Oh. Oh, a chance to win. I could win $100,000 at TimberwolfSnuff.com. Fuck yeah, I'm going to go look that up right after this. TimberwolfSnuff.com. Nice. Okay, so 
first impression, and I did I did clean out my mud jug today. Um, finally, thank God, because it was it was smelling fucking awful. And um, I noticed that when I like walked over to it one time, it had like a little fucking gathering of something like on on the like saliva or like the water whatever it was that I like dumped in here like it gathered on top it looks like a fucking bacteria colony or some shit I started freaking out and that's when I cleaned it um okay so first impression on Timberwolf Peach um very dry uh not exactly the best tobacco and all the land as far as texture goes. Um, as far as flavor goes, though, I actually kind of like this stuff. Um, the only thing is, the only thing that concerns me, sort of, about the, the texture, um, even if you have, like, a dip, like, say, Skull Mint, that isn't, like, the, the mintiest dip out there, but the texture is really, really good on it, then like texture and and flavor go hand in hand. Better texture equals better flavor without like needing as much flavor. Like I'm sure if you have a better textured tobacco, it holds flavor probably a little bit better than like if you have a shitty quality tobacco. Um, and that's why like, you know, kayak and, and all that, like kayak and um, even like Kodiak and some other dips like that. Um, even grizzly sometimes I feel like that. It just feels like it's been pumped full of, like, flavor. Um, and I don't really like that. I like the feeling of, like, oh, it almost tastes like it's kind of naturally there. Like, with Skull Peach, it almost tastes like I'm chewing on a peach in this lip, like a real peach, and then, like, a, a tobacco leaf in this lip or, you know, some shit like that. Um, with some of the, like, lower quality dips, like um, Wolf and Kayak and everything, uh, you know it's peach, you know it's a peach flavor, but you know that it's not how a real peach tastes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, well, you can't fucking answer that, but, I mean, you can nod your head at your fucking computer screen and be like, yeah, Drew, I know what you're saying. Um, alright, well, anyways, we'll get back a little bit. I want to see how the flavor of this, uh, lasts, like, how, how long it progresses for because really when you think about it the the determining factor as far as like rating a texture of a dip um is how long the flavor lasts because if a if a dip has very very good texture then the flavor is going to last a very long time and it's going to be really like comfortable almost to juice it in your lip um if a dip has really like shitty lasting power and it's just bad tobacco like in general um it just won't last you and the flavor the flavor will almost change like you'll get the strongest flavor i can already tell like it's not as bad as it would be with kayak but like with wolf as soon as i the second i threw it in i was like oh okay yeah that's peach flavor like mm, that's definitely peach but especially with wolf and kayak again like as the dip progresses if this is like flavor and this is like t this is time you've had the dip in and this is like flavor level then like skull starts it off you throw the dip in like at time zero right here and skull just keeps a pretty a pretty even flavor profile as the as the time progresses like eventually it's it's any to any dip is obviously going to wear out like eventually it's just going to run out of flavor but at least skull kind of like tapers off a little bit and like Copenhagen's kind of the same way like you know um straight like Copenhagen straight is amazing because the flavor goes in and it tastes the same and it tastes the same and then it kind of tapers off at the very end but like as it's tapering off it's almost like a flavor change and it's you feel like you're getting more fucking flavors out of the dip with like kayak and wolf and you know any other longhorn, any other, like, low-grade tobacco, the flavor level starts, like, ah, that's peach. That's definitely peach. And then it, you keep it in for, like, two or three minutes, and it's just like, and now it tastes like fucking shit. That's pretty much, that's how I would describe it, to, to put it graphically for all you, all you math fiends out there. Um, let's see. All right. Well, anyways, um... I did want to um, 
I didn't know what the fuck to like make this video about. Um, obviously, my finals week has been absolutely awful. Like, I can't wait to go home. I can't. Everybody's like, oh, I don't want to leave school. I'm like, are you fucking kidding? I hate school. I, like, I don't want to be here. I want to leave. I want to go back home. I want to go to Colorado. Um, adding to the fact, adding to my finals week depression, the fact that the Denver Thuggets lost to the Golden State Warriors. And seriously, I was watching this game. And I don't know how NBA refs can live with themselves because they make such shitty calls game in and game out. And I, I honestly, I wonder if, like, an NBA ref just goes home and is okay with the fact that he just, like, blew a call. Like, you know, I, I don't know how I'd be able to, like, I would at least call a player and be like, hey, man, yeah, I'm the guy that, like, ref your game the other night or whatever. I'm really sorry about that, you know, whatever. But... Apparently, NBA refs just aren't that courteous because they think they're fucking right all the time, which they're not. Um, but anyways, let's see. What else did I want to talk about? Oh, so obviously, with my finals week, as I said, um, not being exactly the best finals week, um, I wanted to give you guys um, some tips on how I de-stress during finals week and how to just, like, de-stress in general. If you're like, hey, man, I fucking hate my life. Like, I'm stressed out. Um, I wake up every morning, I'm just like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to do this whole life thing anymore. Um, then here are some really good ways for you to de-stress. Number one, take a dip. Um, obviously that's what my, like, channel is about. Dipping relieves stress. Nicotine relieves stress. Obviously it's, like, not good. Nicotine's addictive and you need more and more of it, um, as time goes on to, like, get the, you know, get the same effect and everything. But still, I mean, that's why people smoke. That's why people dip, because it relieves stress. Um, so take a dip. But if you're going to take a dip, you should also eat right, number one, or number, num fucking number two. God damn, I can't count. Maybe that's why I did so bad on my accounting phone, because I, I can't count to two. Um, but eat right is definitely number two. Um, that's, probably, that's probably one of the most important factors in, like, just overall health, both, like, physical and mental health is just eating, right? Like, if you eat a ton of acidic foods like fast food and red meat and, you know, you're not, if, if any of you guys are, like, on bodybuilder, you know, bodybuilding.com or, like, you're into fitness or whatever, um, then you're probably familiar with the phrase eating clean. And what eating clean is is pretty much just staying away from, like, fried foods, breaded foods, like, any, anything, anything that has, like, a ton of oils in it or... Um, a ton of saturated fat, anything like that, stay away from that stuff um, because in reality what it does uh, is that kind of diet makes your body produce more acid and acid makes you feel like shit. Um, so the way that you counteract acid, all you chemistry people out there, um, is with alkalinity. Alkalinity in your diet can be obtained through um, eating a lot of vegetables, a lot of um, leafy green vegetables like spinach and kale and all that good stuff. And in addition, kale, uh, kale especially, um, has like a sulfurous compound in it. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, um, but it has some sort of sulfurous compound in it that counteracts. It's a, it has an antioxidant effect, um, and so it's going to counteract any of the, the bad shit that might be going on in your mouth um, because of dipping. So kale is definitely a good choice. Um, number three, right behind diet, um, would be exercise. I read somewhere, I was on StumbleUpon the other night, and I read um, that exercise, like if you exercise it just three times a week for half an hour, that 90 minutes of exercise per week is like five times more effective than even the most powerful antidepressant. So if you're eating right and you're working out, then like, you know, if you, if you work out, working out is like a natural high. That's like, once you get done working out, you're releasing a ton of um, endocannabinoids um, and a bunch of neurotransmitters like serotonin and prolactin and oxytocin and just all these all these different feel-good chemicals. And that's why you get done, like you walk out of the gym and you're like, God, I'm a fucking man. Like you feel great about yourself. So definitely exercise. Um, and also, lastly, um, sleep enough. Sleep enough is definitely a, a very good tip as well because um, obviously if you if you don't sleep enough you're not going to be able to your brain doesn't recharge enough like you wake up in the morning and you have kind of that brain fog if you've slept for 
I don't know, four or five hours or something like that. So definitely um, try and try and get to sleep early. Early to bed, early to rise is definitely like one of the mantras that I that I try and stick to. Um, if you're like me and you have trouble falling asleep, I highly recommend. Um, let me find it really quick. Okay, if you have trouble falling asleep, here's what you should take. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, it's similar to um, melatonin in some ways. Like if a, a lot of people take melatonin, I know a lot of people know about melatonin, um, but not a lot of people know about this stuff. St. John's wort, this stuff is absolutely incredible. Like I, I take this stuff literally every time I see the bottle. Like it's, it's just incredible. Um, and I think the ingredient in it that promotes sleep, it has kind of like an anxiolytic effect where it, it almost like puts you down, but in a good way. Like it's not, it's not a put me down like alcohol or something like that. Um, but this uh, hyperisin right here, I think that's the ingredient that helps kind of relax you. It helps put you down. Um, the only thing that I do notice about St. John's Wort um, is you have to take it for like two or three weeks every day. Um, to start seeing kind of the, the benefits. Um, and the only other thing about it is the first like four or five times that you take it, you will wake up in the morning and you're, if, if you haven't taken this stuff before, you will get like bombarded with light. It makes you so sensitive to light. Um, and I don't really know why, but so I was literally just like wearing my sunglasses at night um, when I was taking St. John's work for like the first two, three weeks. Um, but this stuff is incredible. It'll, it'll help you get to sleep. I highly recommend it. Um, so let's see. Oh, last, last and probably the coolest thing that I have yet to do that I have like yet to discover and try, um, is lucid dreaming. And a lot of people know about lucid dreaming. Like you're probably familiar with how to, how to lucid dream or, you know, maybe you've heard about it, but you don't know how to do it. Um, I finally got down and like mastered, not mastered, but like I can reliably lucid dream anytime I want. And it's fucking awesome. What lucid dreaming is, is if, if you don't know, it's like some in, inception type shit. What lucid dreaming is, is you become conscious that you're dreaming while you're asleep. So your brain is fully conscious, but your body is still asleep. So because your brain is still conscious, you can literally control your dreams. It's incredible. I, I love lucid dreaming. Um, so how do you do it? For, for me, the way that worked for me um, is I just, I Googled like how to lucid dream one night or something. Um, and what I started doing was keeping a dream journal. Um, so as soon as you wake up from a dream, you know how like you wake up from a dream and then like, five, ten minutes later, you either go back to sleep and you start dreaming again, or you just forget what your dream was all about, and then you try and tell somebody about, like, what your dream was about, and they look at you like you're crazy. Yeah. Um, the way that you keep a dream journal is just as soon as you wake up, as soon as you have a dream and you wake up, just write down. Get out, like, a little, I kept, like, a little notebook or whatever, and just write down as much as you can remember about your dream, like, right as you wake up. Um, by recognizing and like seeing all these different factors that are that are common in some of your dreams, you'll be able to recognize more easily when you're dreaming and when you're awake. The other way that you can do this uh, that I tried that I also tried was um, these things called reality checks. And what reality checks are is um, so like you know my watch for example, like it says 11:52 right now, but if I'm dreaming and I look at my watch and I get in the habit of, like, while I'm awake, I got in the habit of looking at my watch. Or what I did was I put a big, I took a Sharpie and put a big A on my hand. And it looked like the anarchist A, um, but I put an A on my hand um, and that stood for awake. And so, like, just at certain times throughout the day, I'd be like, okay, I'm awake right now. I'm awake right now. Yeah, I'm still awake right now. So that habit when you go to sleep, 
you'll be dreaming and for some reason like that habit of looking at your hand and being like oh I'm awake you'll look at your hand in your dream and you'll see the sharpie A on it and all of a sudden you'll be like oh I'm awake but I'm still dreaming huh like and then all of a sudden you're able to control your dreams like it's it's insane um, so definitely do dream journal reality checks if you're interested in trying lucid dreaming um, I definitely like it's it's one of the coolest things I think I've ever I've ever come across like just being able to go to sleep and know that like I can dream about whatever I want to dream about is awesome um, so that's that that's a really good way to, to de-stress too I guess because I wake up from a lucid dream I'm just like oh that was a lot of fun like I fucking I had a dream one time that I was like on top of a mountain and I realized that I was awake when I was on top of the mountain and I jumped from the top of the mountain flew like 400 500 yards landed on the top of a tree and the tree like bent and torqued back this way and I was like hanging onto the tree and everything and then it like shot me back on top of the mountain and I like landed back on top of the mountain and I just remember being and you can feel like the air rushing by your ears and like the wind through your hair and everything it's ridiculous like the the things that the mind can do just like absolutely blow my mind um, so definitely try lucid dreaming if you're interested in it um, I should probably wrap up this goddamn review right now um, thus far the flavor of wolf uh, as far as the peach goes it's maintained a little bit but it's definitely not the same peach flavor that it was when I put it in it's almost a more like bitter peach flavor it's not it's not a very good peach flavor um, so if I had to give Wolf a final rating um, I'd say maybe like a 6 out of 10 if you're gonna dip would I, would I recommend that you dip Wolf peach regularly probably not if you have the money to invest in like a skull peach or like a, a different flavor of you know a texturally superior dip then definitely go for that um, and as far as like the low end flavored dips go um, I would put Wolf above Kayak. Wolf is probably the best low end flavored dip um, that I've had um, and as far, as far as like Buzz goes or anything like that um, I'm not really noticing anything anything too too major um, but I, again I think it's I think it's a decent quality dip. Texture-wise, it needs a lot of improvement. Um, but flavor-wise, it's not the worst that it could be. Um, so, final rating, 6 out of 10 on uh, Timberwolf Peach. Um, and that about does it, actually, for the review today. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the conversation and or the tips. Uh, if you have any more tips that like you'd like to share with other people or something like that, um, feel free to comment below um, and I will be I'll be coming back probably shortly with um, I, I don't know I'll just I'll find some some random dip to, to review um, and it'll be cool and we'll have more conversations just like this so thank you guys for watching uh, and I should probably go study for my stat exam so that I don't fail out of college this semester so thank you guys for watching take it easy